Okay, let's talk for a few minutes about the sort list component. And specifically, I want to get into the A values um, because I think there it has a lot of uses that are often overlooked. Now, if you don't already know about the sort list component, uh, here's one simple example. Um, if we have five B reps and we want to, for example, find the smallest volume of the five, uh, we can tell that it's this one, but how would we do that parametrically? Um, well, we can measure the volume of the geometry and then sort it, and it's going to automatically sort from least to greatest, and then we can select the first list item, and that's going to give us the smallest volume. Um, so sometimes we can sort the list and we're going to use the list that we sorted, but sometimes we're going to use the keys to sort the list, but then we're actually going to use the A values to, um, we're actually going to be using the list coming out of the A values. Uh, what's going on here? Basically, uh, whatever we put into the A values, uh, this component is going to sort these two lists in the same, uh, re it's going to rearrange these two lists but uh, in the same way. Um, let's, let's look at an example. So if we want to, you know, uh, take these five boxes and we want to stack them um, with the bottom, with the biggest one on the bottom and the smallest one on the top, and we want them to be sequential. Um, right now, uh, right now, as it is, the they're they're ordered in the order that I made them in. So there's no uh, good order here. Um, and if we were to stack them now, um, it's going to look like this. Um, you know, one is going to stack on top of zero, two is going to stack on top of one, uh, etc. And that's not what we want. So if only we had a way to order these boxes um, uh, by volume, and but we actually want to reference the geometry, but we're going to use the volume as as the ordering uh, as the the method to order that, and that's what we're going to use uh, the values a for. So again, we're measuring the volume of the geometry, but we don't actually care about that list anymore. What we actually care about is the a values. Now, uh, if we um, if we plug the a values um, in, now it's reordered them um, because it's ordered it based on volume. We've plugged the b reps into the a values, and now it's rearranged both these lists in the same way so that it's outputting them. It's now outputting the b reps uh, from smallest to biggest. So we can see right here. So the, the smallest b rep is zero because it has the smallest volume. It's rearranged it in the same way. And so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, and now if we stack the boxes, um, it's going, it's it's kind of doing what we want. It's sequential. It's in, it's in, um, it's in, it's in the order that we want, except uh, what we can do here is we can just reverse this list. And now it's going from biggest to smallest instead of smallest to biggest. So that's just one, uh, you know, kind of kind of dumb example. The, the, just to demonstrate um, what we can do with this uh, sort list component other than just sorting the list itself.